Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. This is Sabiuddin Ahmed Siddiqui. Now we are continuing with the video 23rd. We are going to understand G option pane confirm dialog box. Now what we are going to do as you know the use of these two dialog box show message dialog box and show input. Now we are continuing with the confirm dialog box. So let's see what we are going to include here. As you can see that I have already done this work uh, in the previous video the G option pane show input dialog box now here I am just putting the remark as you know you can see that this is written in the last we did it that we just added some spaces over here to make the dialog box look more wide so now I am just putting the remarks here now I have put the remarks over here and now we are in a position to call the G option pane confirm dialog box now see g option pane dot show confirm dialog or if you are not satisfied with this just put dot and then stay now here show you can see show confirm dialog just enter here now the arguments as you know that you are uh, now become familiar with this structure remove the arguments then put double quote and then just show the message do you want to continue do you want to continue so if this is a question so this will appear now I am just running this simply so you will see that the outcome and then we will make some changes and we will put the options and the receiving containers to receive the value in it now I am running this program now you can see the output now it is working you can see the three options just yes, no and cancel so if I want to use just yes, what could be the next step to map this yes and to no and to cancel so we should have three options here so the options we will be using so we will have the container first which will receive the value of these boxes of these buttons so that you can direct the instruction to some other places so now see let's what we do now you can see select an option we have not put the title here right the message simply displays here with the three option buttons with the three buttons you can see that so what you can do here simply now I'm just closing this okay coming to the code window now here what we have to include you can see that first of all I'm going to add a title here now you can see I'm going to add a title as you know this comma confirm your decision okay confirm your decision and then I am just calling the G option pane of properties information message that's it the message is complete now but we have to have the values in the container we have not put in now again I am running the program you can see it here which will tell you you can see confirm you confirm your decision okay so by mistake I forgot to put the your R confirm your decision okay now in this case we are going to add the value response or any input let's suppose choice or button press something like that one more thing which I am going to add it here J dialog then put dot set default look and feel decorated boolean yes this should be true yes so you will see what will be the output now after putting this statement before the J option pane confirm dialog or any of the dialogues we have done before now you can see that I am going to run it you can see the decorated output this changes to green color you can see that okay so this will make the changes and even you can change the color as well 
so now this is you have seen now I'm going to take you back to the code so that we can receive the value in J option pane confirm dialog box now here before I do something now what you have to do let's suppose I am declaring one variable integer choice right choice basically is a variable which is type of integer why it is kept integer because the options you have seen that is yes no and cancel is in the state of integer so that is why I am going to use choice choice equals to that means whatever you will input by pressing the buttons yes no and cancel will be stored in choice and then we will have to put some conditional statements over here so that you can track the choice input now here I am going to extend this to show you what you have to do now let's suppose if choice this is the very first time you are seeing the condition here so keep watching and try to understand the if structure what we are going to do now you can see if choice you are getting the value and now we are going to use the double equals to so that we are equalizing the input variable that is yes no and cancel equals to option dot j option pane then put dot you have all the states no option here is a no option you are focusing on no option right basically this bracket is off from if condition that's why we are not going to put any semicolon here yes you can put the curly braces brackets over here to continue the choice option then if choice j option pane dot no option so what you have to do or if it is kept according to the sequence you have seen in the j option pane that is let's that suppose I'm running the program see the sequence let's suppose yes is on first place then no then cancel so just close this and then we are going to accordingly that means first should be yes yes option right now here you will put else if else if this is a nested condition choice equals to pain dot no option then again else if first close curly brackets and then again else if else if choice equals to option g option g option pane dot cancel option and then the last one is close option else if choice equals to option pain dot close option right we have almost used all the four types four types of controls placed there now you have closed the whole condition conditional statement try to focus on this because this will help you out in controlling the choices when entered now you can see that I have written all these four options choice equals to J option yes that means what to do on yes option now here I am just running this program and you can see that if there is anything happening nothing happens see no then again run file then cancel and the last one is this cross it does not apply anything now I'm going to add a code here for this G option in dot show message so that you can see the message what is going on so that you can see even at least about the you have pressed yes button 
okay and then i'm just putting comma over here and then putting choice to see the effect what happens right let's change the comma to plus sign then see the effect what happens now i'm running the program you have pressed yes button zero that means option is zero that means if you want to focus the integer value so the first value is zero then second value should be one then two and then three let's see what happens next the color automatically change you see that now here you can see i'm going to put another message again i'm copying this control c and control v and just putting this message here by changing the message you have pressed no choice again run this then you can see that what happens no you have pressed one see the value becomes one okay now changing to again copying this to the third option you have pressed cancel button cancel button and the choice remains added with the body see now cancel you have pressed cancel button 2 that means the range starts with 0 till 2 for these three options yes no and cancel let's see what happens with the last option that is close option you have pressed the cross corner cross or slash close close button right see what is the value for this now you have press corner cross close button that is minus 1 see the value that is minus 1 this is minus 1 value so you have seen that the integer value it contains as far as my intention was to uh, explain you the type of integer why is it integer so you have seen that all that you know that you have used g option pane with confirm dialog box having the receivers or the choice which will store the value or read the value from the confirmation buttons so you saw that this was the code you have seen and you have used now this was your j option pane confirm box confirm dialog so you have seen that how does this work now you have seen that if i am just unmarking this to execute this and to execute this after that what happens see i am running all that together this is a j option message dialog as you know that we have kept the error message that is why this change to cross okay then this box okay then this yes then you have this and the j options have done its job but there is no repetition they are not coming on if you have pressed just and you are further confirming that yes just yes, remain constant so in these types of options you have to ask for the further confirmation so now what is to do and what we have done now i am just going to put this j dialog to show you the further effect on all those j options copy put this before this or what happens let's suppose i have put only one i am just putting remark over here so let's see what happens i have just put one statement here that is true decorated true so it should implement on all now running this again yes this becomes red whole box becomes red because you see the state that that the cross button or the error message contains red state so that is why it all changed to red now you click on okay this becomes blue all that blue yes you click on okay then this becomes green if you press no yes whatever you press it becomes yellow green and something like that so this is the whole structure about confirmation dialog and you saw that dialog i have put the another statement that is j dialog dot set default look and feel decorated true 
so you have learned as you can see that the import statements here swing j dialog import java x dot swing you are already familiar with this so now i am hopeful that you will learn a lot in this and you can implement this option easily and you can see that you have focus now if you want to just recall this so what you have to do is we have to put it in a method which thing should be put in a method this j option pane we have to create a method now these are known as static method we will be learning in the next tutorials so till that time i hope you must have enjoyed and you must have learned something now we will continue j option pane input box in the next 24 tutorial and then you will see the uh, combined so thanks for watching